Have you ever thought about waking up one day and seeing three men in hazmat suits walking towards you? Well, it happened to me the other day. This is my house, in Davao. Have I shown you around here before? I forgot. Either way, it's just small, it's just small, but I've been renting this for about three and a half years. And over those three and a half years, you clean it, but then there's just this residual smell. It's just a mixture, it's just a mixture of dog and... <sighs> I'm getting up. <laughs> This is, that's really, what am I doing with my life? That's, that's, that's what am I doing with my life times a million. But look at their cute little faces. They provide so much happiness that you can't blame them. Mixture of my feet, which are disgusting. My dogs, who I treat like babies and let them get away with everything. So, yeah. Then I found there's a company now, they came from Manila, they're down here and they deep clean. So I said, please deep clean my house, it smells. I've kind of made my bed, not really. Teddy's left his toy there. Yes, I let my dog sleep in the room, they're pampered. Why has he left his toy on the bed? Teddy. <laughs> this toy's like the size of him, I got it in the UK and I need to clean that as well. Doesn't smell that bad actually. Why am I sniffing everything? That's weird. That's very, very blue. I thought the light had gone mad and then I realized the curtains are blue. What am I doing? Ah, uh, yeah, this is the wardrobe. <laughs> Which is, okay, over here are my wife's clothes. There and there. There's also my wife's clothes. There's my clothes. My wife's at work. Teddy and Bailey on staycation, lucky them. Uh -huh. So they don't get infected by chemicals. Yeah, I have no idea how this is going to work out. No idea at all. They're also going to deep clean this, which is, yeah, so I better clean out all this crud. Actually, it's not crud, it's useful stuff, apart from water bottles. First step, the steamer. Set the mood and the scent. Steaming is an integral part of deep cleaning and they have to include everything. I have exactly the slippers I need for inside. Yes. I 
I already like the smell of that machine. It's uh, putting something much better than dogs and feet. <laughs> Why have I waited three and a half years to do this? Meanwhile, the bathroom is all about getting the deep set. Right. Hard to reach, easily forgotten places are often the most important. I used to have like cockroach infections. Infestations come from there until I sprayed it. It's fun. Where's this one from? This dirt from the. So not not yet here. That's the dirt from my bedroom and the wardrobe. That's not even this room, which is just the one I smelt earlier. Told me you can't get the lizard off. <laughs> so the lizard there, that's a permanent fixture of my house now. This is what I'm really excited for. It's like a smoke machine. Trusty workaholic, possibly my best friend. In need of TLC, especially inside. Yeah, something there was really sticky, and they got it off. <laughs> no one's managed it before. Not that I wash my car often anyway. difference they're steaming it that should get rid of all these little odors that stick that and the disinfectant at the end I can smell it already in the house it's make, it makes a big difference you smell you really smell the difference of steaming it important grand finale. <laughs> close, back close, back close. Yeah, my car's smoking, it's on fire. So that's three months protection, they said three months from the misting and antibacterial, all sorts. So it's good, it lasts a while. Let's see. <laughs> yeah, that's circulating. Ooh, that smells nice. It's off the engine. That's circulated through the aircon nicely. It smells really good. I mean, air freshener just masks it, but this is, uh, this is actually good in it. It doesn't get your nose like a lot of chemicals. This, this chemical actually, whatever they're using, reminds me of the stuff we have in the UK. Made it dirty already. <laughs> Classic me. 
Yeah, you know, it makes, it does, it just, it just makes a huge difference. There's this certain aroma now, which is nice, rather than the muskiness, which is normally there. I mean, you clean and clean and clean, but what you really needed, what I really needed was that. They made my bed like it's a hotel as well. <laughs> That's brilliant. The Winnie the Pooh's not mine, by the way. It's my wife's. Should clean that up, shouldn't I? It's it's different when I when you're spending a lot of time at home and at the moment I'm not sure, not sure what's going on to be honest. I might what I'm thinking as well, I might do something outside. I'm thinking I might put a little wall and fence at the front, just so my dogs can run around outside. They love being inside, but nice to give them a bit of extra something. Check with my landlord, or I might just surprise him by doing it because he watches my vlogs. truth is I have no idea what I'm doing. I keep thinking I should do a vlog of my life here in Davao and then I realise my life here in Davao is boring so that's a great way to introduce a video isn't it? Come on keep watching this is boring. Sorry. Even Teddy's bored. He wants to play football with me I think. Come on let's play football. Huh? We play football. Hey, hey, hey. Where are we going to get this? Where are we going to put it? Have I literally forgotten how to kick a football? Yeah, I got it, got it, got it, got it. Hey, sit. Sometimes he comes to me with this ball or one of the many other toys while I'm sat editing and I'm just like, can't resist, okay, let's play. <laughs> That's why I only release every three days. <laughs> Sit. Oh, good catch. Good catch, Teddy. <laughs> Bailey loves having his tummy tickled. Right, I am going to. The good thing is today, I am very British. I drink a lot of tea. The good thing is today, I remember to take the tea bag out, which I often forget. Then you have a really strong and like cold tea. And then I decided to try making sandwich making interesting. Probably impossible task. First, I hope this shot of bread closing excites you. Three types of cooked meat from Swiss Deli. Amontel cheese from German Deli. Wait, where's the Filipino Deli? The world's smallest piece of lettuce. No food waste in my house. Yeah, forget the knife. Much more satisfying to just tear it apart. and a tomato to help continue the illusion of healthiness. It's so weird having my camera on a tripod opposite me. <laughs> I can get all this in Davao. Um, tomato actually looks all right, except for, these, except for this. This one, if someone imports this to Davao, then I will buy a case. I'm telling you, this is the best thing in the world ever. It's on 50 calories per serving manageable isn't it? This one you can, you can get an SM. It's healthier than some people think it is. The good thing is natural ingredients. Sometimes I'm very British. Then time for more cleaning, furball cleaning. Oh. 
Finally. <laughs> the good thing is, ah! they make the floor smell nice when they <laughs> throw it about. I just have to mop it up. It's easy. Hey, 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 what are you doing? What are you doing? What are you on this? Huh? Careful. Huh? Huh? Where are you going? Where are you going? Huh? Link, 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 link. Hmm? Link, link, link. Come on, don't be afraid, little boy. We're gonna towel dry baby by now. Hmm? Hmm? Good boy. Good boy. Where are you going? Where are you going? Oh, okay. He's like me. Hey, Buan. been invited by I forgot the guy's name so bad out in Kabantian so a lot of people of course have started making money at home instead started doing delivery services online selling that kind of thing and he's doing barbecue ribs or something delightfully sounding like that I'm excited I haven't eaten Filipino food today have I My mission tonight, check out this barbecue smokehouse. Unveiling these glorious pork ribs and this secret smoky sauce. There's a few foods that are the reason that I'm still fat, and food like this is part of the reason. Oh, good. So, how many how many hours do you barbecue this for? Uh, usually five, five to six. Five to six hours. Yep. Mm -hmm. It really depends on the size. Mm -hmm. So, uh, the bigger it is, the, the, the longer it's going to be uh, cooked. For that size, probably five, five hours. Maybe I can ask you how how can we order this? Yeah, we, have have page, we have a page um, up, it's Smoke and Barrel. Um, how, how, how did you create this recipe? Probably started like five years ago. YouTube helps a lot with, with a lot of videos and how to do it. Probably a lot of trial and errors. I got to create my own style, my own, my own um, recipe for that. So I want to, everybody to enjoy it as much as I enjoyed it when, when, when I created it. Something to save my blushes. That's so my wife doesn't realize that it's... <laughs> I've taken a bite. This sauce is very, very, very good. I'm on a diet. <laughs> This is for that's for you. 